So tell me a little bit about the piece. Well, I know that it was uh, it was finished in 1924. And... Yes, and it was uh, commissioned by uh, Paul Whiteman, uh, and it was orchestrated by Freddie Griffin, um, and it was the f it was his uh, piece that introduced him uh, to the world of music. This was his, the thing that made him famous, and he was the first composer to introduce that jazz idiom into the uh, piano concerto format. Yeah, uh, which is this is one that's become one of the most iconic pieces of so you know sort of classical music. Oh yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite part of the of this concerto, so to speak? Well, I think everybody loves those really luscious melodies in the middle. I think that So this part, which is... You know, which is also really fun too. You know. Yeah, there's a lot of character. Mm -hmm. A lot of character. There's a lot of style. My favorite part is that little section that goes... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> keeps... sure. It's easy for a conductor to say Easier said than done. Right? This part. That part? Yeah, that's... So, but it... You see, I've, I've conducted this piece probably six or seven times by now, and most of the pianos that I've done this with are sweating bullets through that section. You're kind of like, hmm, I think I need to go to Trader Joe's and get some asparagus. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be very difficult for you. No, All right, well, thank you so much. Um, this has been an incredibly insightful uh, experience for me, and I'm looking forward to doing this yet again, but it's a different experience every single time I do it. So. This will be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's going gonna, gonna to be fun for sure. Uh, it'll be February the 22nd at First Congregational Church, 4 p.m. You can get your tickets at www.ticketpeak forward slash S-E-A. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, well, thank you. Okay, y'all, we didn't have a music stand, so this is gonna have to do. <laughs> we'll be admitting <laughs> we'll that. <laughs> Um...